going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Haley Cairo. If you guys are new and if you are a returning subscriber, I am so glad you guys are back for another video. I jumped on the bandwagon and conmari the crap out of my bedroom. Some of this was really emotional and like, I wasn't expecting that and I'm pretty excited to share this process with you. Before we get started, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss a video. And don't forget to follow along on social because I share a lot of other content over there, DIYs, hacks, recipes, all that kind of fun stuff. But let's get into the video. A couple things I wanna to touch on real quick. Clutter is so overwhelming to the brain. It can really derail your productivity and like I'm someone who gets anxious over small things. Like it doesn't have to be a big deal. I will get hot get moody and I will be frustrated. Sorry, we needed to change up how it was sitting because I was looking like a shrunken toad. I've shared my declutter process before with these closets, but I also have the Bremnies bed, Brem Bremnies bed from Ikea, which has four drawers, two on either side, and they were overflowing. So today we're specifically gonna go through my active wear and I'm gonna share some kind of special emotional things with you guys, but also I'm a big fan of Poshmark. I sell a lot on Poshmark, so if you guys are not following me, my account is Haley M. Cairo, and over Christmas, before Christmas, I sold over $1,000 worth of things. So my Christmas was free and I made money, which was wild. And I was so consistent. So I'm gonna share some tips with you guys as I go through the declutter process that helped me be really successful with selling on Poshmark. And I've also done a great Great job of finding rare items on there as well. I always used it for selling, but I've been able to find like special CrossFit shoes and some of my favorite Alpha Elite items that sell out really quickly. So don't forget that Poshmark is also for shopping. Even though we're talking about decluttering, I just wanted to throw that in there. So my first tip for the decluttering process, I know Marie Kondo talks about getting everything out, but I like to break it up into sections. So I knew I just wanted to focus on active wear because I had time in that day to do a little bit. Like I couldn't overhaul my whole life yesterday. So the one drawer was the primary focus and I did. I took everything and put it on the bed. Of course, Princess Zuka had to make an appearance and like take over my video. She makes this extremely difficult for me to get anything done, but I've made some progress. Don't mind her. I have all of my leggings that are fairly new over here. These are some things that I'm not sure about. And then over there is seasonal. So I was a really avid runner and we would do winter races. So those are kind of things that need to just be stored because I don't use them as often. And then in the bin, I have everything being um, ready either to be donated, thrown in the trash or put on Poshmark. I also can't really like move anything around because if I do, she was there, she always does this when I put clothes on the bed, it's like her thing. And before you even start the process, I recommend writing down the areas in your house you know you need to work on and then subcategorizing them into specific zones or items. That's really helped me. So for example, for my bedroom, I put down bed drawers and then I have four drawers. So I kind of listed some of the things that I needed to wean out. Like in one of the drawers, I have a ton of sleep pants that I never use because I get way too hot. It's like, I know I need to get rid of them. I don't need 15 flannel pants. Just kind of break it down into categories and it'll kind of keep you with like a trajectory for your project So you're gonna make sure that your pants are very flat and no creases leggings tend to get a lot of creases in them So you just want to make sure that they're completely flat and then fold in the inseam like That and then we're folding them into thirds and Then you can also if you'd like fold it into another one depending on the thickness and then we're just going to stack them like this. Before I would stack my leggings, you know, just like your standard way. And you know, if you wanted to get something in the bottom, you pull it out and then the whole thing comes undone.
Oh, your clothes are gone. You don't have any more snuggle clothes. Also, with Poshmark, I know a lot of people were like, oh, I don't have time to do that. Trust me, you do. I own three companies. You do have time because what I did when I, well, you'll see, but I cleared out everything, did all of that, and then I took pictures of items that I was putting in the bins, and I have the bin system. I talked about this in a few other videos. I prefer to use bins for this because I can see what I'm doing. If I put it in a trash bag, it gets too cluttered. So I use bins or laundry baskets for this process, but I take pictures right away, and then I forget about it. If I, you know, I'll post later that evening when I'm watching TV and just kind of hanging out, but I get the whole process done before I worry about the posting, but I do take the pictures during the daytime so that they're clean and crisp, and that way people can really see what the item is, the details about the details. Stylizing your photos really helps too. So with the portrait mode, you can have a better depth of field. Make sure it's crisp and clean and airy and your photos are gonna look awesome. You can kind of give like your shop a little bit of a brand. Um, and make sure you share on social media. <laughs> social media. Social media, you can take kind of group shots of flat lays. That's what I do for stories. I'm like, hey guys, I just put a bunch of things up on Poshmark. Check it out. A little swipe up or a link in your bio. It just is kind of like a more curated way. You can style pieces for people, which transfers into the bundles features for Poshmark, which is fantastic because if you have things that you want to sell together, people can bundle it up and then they only pay for shipping for one item and you can send it all one time. Another thing that really helped me is keeping my notifications on for Poshmark. So I see when people like items or comment or purchase and when someone likes an item, I will go in right away. I'll go in right away and comment like, thank you for liking, let me know if you have any questions and I'll send them a private offer so you can lower the price a little bit and it's just more of an incentive to purchase. If you guys aren't currently using Poshmark, I highly recommend you guys download it. You guys can follow me. I'm Haley M. Cairo. Comment your username down below if you do use it so we can follow each other and share items and all that jazz. It's been really difficult for me the past two year, two and a half years um, with the weight gain thing. My whole life was centered around fitness and I felt like it was being taken away from me and I wanted it back so badly. I feel like I just left all those clothes <laughs> in those drawers. If you guys didn't know, I was a pretty avid like triathlete and runner. I was really competitive. I had this mindset of like, I'm not doing a race if I'm not winning. I, as I pulled out the clothes, it was hard seeing like my race stuff, things that I had really specific memories wearing those things for training and with the people and I'm gonna cry. Oh my goodness. So it was like, I didn't want to get rid of them because Haley, ugh, get it together. I guess because I, oh my God. I just didn't want to say goodbye to, oh my God, Haley. I heard if you count backwards, you can't cry. I, I have this, I do. I felt like if I got rid of those clothes, it was like I was giving up. Does that make sense? Because I was like, I need to be back in that zone and physique and athleticism to wear those things again, to do the things that I love. And if I get rid of them, it's I'm quitting. It made sense in my head. So anyway, so going through those was tough. There were some that I just was like, does this one really bring joy? No, I was able to get through it. Some pieces, I, these are really good pieces. I know I'm gonna get like back to that place. So I'm not gonna get rid of them, but I had only saved a few things that I wasn't currently wearing. And then some of my like really expensive running gear, like these pants are like $150 and I can wear them. They're just not super comfortable. I just can't justify getting rid of them because they're so expensive, <laughs> but it was a really emotional thing for me. And I didn't think it was going to be this hard maybe just because they've been all shoved down in there and I haven't really looked at them but it made me come to terms with things it made me realize my goals and like I'm on this path of getting better again it was really a great experience it really was looking forward to doing this for the rest of the house because if you guys didn't know we're going to be moving probably in less than a year when everything is finished up with Kyle I can't talk about that too much just because it's his personal information but we will be moving soon and my plan is to have as little as possible when we move other than furniture that process is going to to continue and if you guys want to see more of it and kind of how I do it and maybe some systems that I found that work really well for me and staying organized with it I'd totally love to do like a whole series on this because I think there are ways of doing it but also ways of maximizing your your work um, and also making a little money with it so I know this video is kind of all over the place it was like vloggy and sit down and showing you guys how I was like 
folding and, and whatnot, but um, yeah, I, I don't know what clip we're cutting to, so surprise. But I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys have any questions about the KonMari method, if you wanna see me overhaul the rest of my life, like my bathroom, my other drawers, other types of clothing, I thought it'd be kind of cool to just kind of subcategorize it, show you how I organized a specific type of clothing, how I folded it, all that jazz. But as always, I hope you guys are doing well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow along on social, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.